Hello, I'm Mike Gordon, and welcome to another Goat Week Format Weekly Tournament here on Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling Books. We've got a minute to go before the tournament starts, so let's skip to it. We have a full house here for Goat Format Weekly number 73. And we have some interesting players to say the least. Of this group, I would say TJ91 runs a... Uh, library FTK, so can't dismiss him quite yet. Quiet Storm 97 uses some. I'm trying to remember what he uses, like a chaos, like a some sort of control deck, I think. Hamachi's kind of interesting. He runs a uh, Fire Fist deck. And Kane, the person that beat me a couple weeks ago in King Runner Up in Goat Weekly 71, is actually. No, it was Goat Weekly 70. So I think that's it. Those three names seem to be the front runners. And as a reminder, every, every uh, Sunday at 6 p.m., Rock. And here's roll 5,000. And as a remind, so I just have to wait for roll 5,000. Every Sunday at 6 p.m. Rocky Mountains time is when registration starts. 7 p.m. Rocky Mountain Standard Time is, w no, it is when the tournament itself starts. So you got one hour registration every Sunday here on Dueling Book. Alright, so this person isn't completely new, has a 0-0 zero, zero record, so there's no telling what kind of deck this person would be running. I'm a little nervous. Alright, this is literally the only play I have. Declare. Alright, so he didn't know that. So this so Roll 5000 is running a, a vanilla beatdown deck. So I'm guess. Alright. So I'm guessing this person has to be running Underdog and probably, dec and probably Skill Drain as well. Cat's meowing. Hmm. What should I do? I'm just going to attack with Mystic Swords in level 2. And take the 1100. That's literally all I can do. Hmm. 
I gotta think. Yeah, he hasn't gotten his engine going quite yet, so I have to hope I get something with a little more attack than what I have here. Ooh. So he's definitely running up. So I'm definitely gonna side in Zombira because So the question is in which slot? Uh... You know what, I think I can side out one Mystic Swordsman. I top decked both of them last time. And you want all side out a dust shoot as no, I should keep up with my dust shoots. I couldn't use Breaker last time because of the 1900. Thought about maybe doing Exile Force, but I don't want a certain scenario similar to last time to pop up. Wow, I've n I've bricked. So, what should I do? I want to try to... He probably has... I want to see what he has. I don't think he has Graceful Charity, or else he would have played it. He might not have any traps. Ooh. So that's his strategy. Just whip out Exodia, and there you go. All right. Um... You know what? I probably could have thought. Now I could have hypothetically have just shoved. Hmm. Well, I'll take the thousand.
Alright, so my fortunes are improving somewhat. Oh, yes, to do that. All right, and I'm not even going to give him the time of day. Things get too problematic, I will definitely shove, move Archfiend Soldier over. I wanna I wait till after he activate graceful charity. I'm not going to put up with that crap anymore. I had to do something because at this rate I was just about ready to stall out. Definitely on the annoying side. 
He has nothing else in his hand, just two Exodia pieces, so he has no choice but to go with Reload. It's probably another Jar of Greed. Could be Skill Drain. It's late enough in the in the in the in the duel, so I can just. I need something that has more than has seventeen hundred attack points or more next turn. He can't attack over this. This is the only move I have for right now. <coughs> it's anybody's game at this point. He could win this this duel, duel two. And it's definitely clear that he stocked up he top Alright, so that's the first duel in the books. Round two of the tournament. Uh, I spent a lot more time scouting out the other opponents than I'd have actually dueling. This one took definitely took quite a while. Went through three matches. Now, this guy could be really, really good. Well, he doesn't go scissors. Please do rock. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. I think I dueled him before, but I don't recall when. Hmm. Now he does have a turbo engine, so I gotta be careful when activating my dust chute. Alright, his engine's going. That's what I gotta do. Uh, 
I'm gonna treat this like a chess match. Haha, ha, I figure as such. I'm trying to be, uh, sneaky. I can't win this turn, so... So it's four thousand or three thousand. Hmm. All oh, right, they're both spellcasters. I gotta take this one because who knows. I have no idea what that fight sound car could be. That's both Thunder Dragons in the graveyard. Neo Thrasher beat me fair and square. Definitely ran into a buzzsaw with that one. If only I didn't declare a last call. So I'm just gonna cut away for a bit and I'll be right back to 
show off who the winner is. And Dueling Kai is the winner. Once again, King 728 was a bridesmaid, not the bride. And once again, the person that beat Emmy was cursed to lose the very next round. Oh well. I am kind of embarrassed I only made file 8 this time. I'm not sure how much longer I plan on recording these. Because, uh, because as of right now, I'm not really getting anything do anywhere do close to matching GOAT Weekly Format 69's productivity. I sort of made it the final round in, the, in GOAT Weekly 71, but man, that was a huge step back. I don't know, maybe next week I will have my bounce back. But if you'd like to see more of these, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. With all out of the way, this is Mike Gordon, sign out.